Terry. You want to take care of that snow shoveling now? Not really. Well, let me rephrase that. It's time to shovel. But I... Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot the magic word. Allowance. Now that's really funny. Okay, okay. Hi, I'm Stan Conley. My family and I own and run this place, the Wooddale Bed and Breakfast. It's a great old house, and we like sharing it with other people. But it's also a business, and like any business, we've always got things to write. Letters, mailers, brochures, ads, etc. We want all those things to look good, but we don't want to spend a lot of time and trouble working on them. These days, that means having a good word processor and knowing how to use it. We use Microsoft Word 97, part of the Microsoft Office 97 suite of computer applications. Now we'll help you learn how to use Word 97, and we'll have some fun along the way. Microsoft Word 97 has a lot of features. We'll start by taking a look at the Word screen to get to know it. Hey, Dad. Uh, Terry, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, hi. You know how you asked me to shovel the snow? Uh-huh. I've been thinking. I was afraid of that. What if we just, like, walked on it? Instead of shoveling? Yeah, to make a path. Yeah? And it would look more natural. And you wouldn't have to shovel it. Well, yeah, but that's not why I think we should do it. I see. Why do you think we should do it? Well, you know about how you advertise about all the natural beauty around this place? Well, part of the natural beauty is the paths that the animals make. They don't shovel. They just walk through the snow and make a path. It's been working for them for thousands of years. You know people like to see that stuff. It could be part of your advertising. See natural animal paths unchanged for thousands of years. People will, like, bus in, maybe even fly in. And we could, like, have get your picture taken with our natural animal paths. And we could have t-shirts and coffee mugs, and pretty soon you wouldn't have to work so hard, and you could just take it easy. Yeah. Terry. Yeah? Just, just shovel. shovel. Okay, okay. Now, where were we? All right, a quick look at the Word screen. To start, we click on the Start button in the Windows 97 taskbar. We point to programs to display the program list. By the way, your installation of Word might start differently. Next, we'll click on Microsoft Word. When we say click or double click, we're referring to the left mouse button, unless we say otherwise. We click on Word. After a moment, the Word window appears. If this is the first time you've started an Office 97 application, you'll be prompted for your name and your initials. The Office applications use this information to keep track of the documents you create and modify. And if this is the first time you've started Word 97, the Microsoft Office Assistant will display. Anytime you want help with something, you can click on this button to display the Office Assistant. When we do, the animated Microsoft Office Assistant appears. The Office Assistant helps you work with Microsoft Office applications. It may offer some tips or help related to the feature you're working with. You can even change how the Office Assistant looks and works with the Options button. And you can always type in a question like, how do I underline? When we click on Search, we get a choice of topics related to underlining. When we click on one about underlining text, a Help window opens, telling us how to do it. This was just an example, so we'll click on the Help Windows Close button. When we do, the window closes. We'll do the same to the Office Assistant. Now let's look at the rest of the Word screen. The large blank area is called the Document Window. It's like a blank sheet of paper, ready for our typing. The blinking line, called the Insertion Point, shows where text will appear when we type. The horizontal line marks the end of the document. Across the top of the window is the Title Bar and the Menu Bar. When we click on a menu heading, the menu opens. For example, the file menu contains commands we use to work with Word files. Sliding the mouse pointer down a menu highlights the menu choices. The keyboard shortcuts show how to select commands without opening the menu. The images, called icons, show which button to click as another way to use this command. To close a menu, we can click outside it. At the right end of the menus, is the Help menu. 
You can use it to display the office assistant or to go right to the help windows. And it has commands for other kinds of help as well. You can also choose commands by clicking on the buttons in the toolbars. Word starts with two toolbars displayed, the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar, which shows the current settings for some formatting features, like font and font size. The toolbars contain buttons for frequently used features. Pointing to a toolbar button displays a screen tip showing what the button does. There are other toolbars available, and you'll learn more about them later. At the side and bottom of the document window are scroll bars for moving around in a document. At the bottom of the screen is the status bar. The left end of the status bar shows the location of the insertion point, including the page number, the section number for when you break text into sections, and the page number with the total number of pages. Word also shows the insertion point location measured from the top of the page, the number of the line it's in, and the distance and number of characters from the left margin. That's the Word screen, and don't worry if your screen looks a little different than ours. There are lots of ways to change the way Word looks and works by using the View menu or the Options choice on the Tools menu. You'll see some of those changes later.